Now, while bears in Vietnam facing extinction are now under further threat as the demand increases for their bile to be used in traditional Asian medicine. It's also meant that prices are plummeting for the bile from caged bears, an illegal business, but widespread in the country. However, in some countries, such as China, the practice is still legal. Well, Brian Crudge is research program manager at the campaigning organisation Free the Bears. And earlier, I asked him how widespread bear farming is in Vietnam. We recently published research uh, looking at the conservation challenges and implications of bear bile farming in Vietnam. And we found that farmers, following the decline in demand and decline in profits, uh, have started to pay less for food for bears. So it's dropped from about $35 per month per bear to just $4 per month. Um, who's actually buying this bile? I mean, there are alternatives on the market. There are plenty of uh, affordable and effective synthetic and herbal alternatives available. Uh, lots of people are buying it. It became quite common through the bear bile farming. Uh, it was marketed widely throughout the country as an effective medicine. What can and is being done to stop what's been described as a barbaric practice? Well, we've been working a lot to reduce demand for bear bile throughout the country, throughout the region. Uh, we're also building sanctuaries. We're building two sanctuaries, one in Laos and one in Vietnam, so that we can rescue as many of the bears as possible before it's too late. And, and what sort of, which species of bear is in particular threat? This is mainly Asiatic black bears that are used for bear bile farming, but also sun bears. Um, and... <laughs> You, you know, you, you can see the pictures online. Why is it people are now turning to the wild bears instead of the caged bears? Well, there's a preference generally in traditional Asian medicine for the wild alternative. It's, it's perceived to be more effective medicine. 